Hi friends, welcome to my channel and thank you for being here. I hope today finds you happy and well. Please excuse my voice as we are getting over the flu and cold symptoms. In today's video, I will be decorating my living room for winter. I have an open floor plan, so I want it to be cohesive with my kitchen. So I'm going to be using the same colors and woodsy feel, but I'll be adding in some warm and cozy textures. I hope you'll join along with me and get some inspiration on ways to make your home feel cozy for the winter. Okay hey guys, here is my living room. It is time to decorate for winter in here. And I'm so glad because it's already like the first week into, almost second week into January. And normally I like to have things back in order by now. Um, but this area has just been in limbo and I don't like it. I'm ready for it to be decorated and beautiful. And what I'm going for, if you've missed my kitchen decorating video, I'm going with, um, very neutral colors, um, but make it look very wintry with evergreens and birch trees and even some black in there, um, which I don't decorate a lot with black. So I'm happy to be bringing all of that into my living room. Um, I did do the kitchen um, last week, so make sure that you check that video out as well. It got a lot of awesome reviews, comments, and likes, and subscribes, so definitely check that out. And if you like this one, make sure to like and subscribe as well. Okay, so let me just show you just a real quick part of like the pieces that I'm using. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna use all of it, but this is what I have, and a lot of it I have had before from Christmas. I kept some stuff. Um, out and I did believe I do believe I did forget some things um, that I went ahead and put into Christmas storage so anyways some things are new and some things I got from thrift stores or yard sales or things like that so I really didn't spend a ton of money on this stuff guys because you don't have to to make your your rooms in your homes feel fresh and inviting and uh, definitely cozy for the winter um, but I'll just show you some things I got and then as I'm decorating each spot in my living room um, I will share with you all where I got it um, and I will link what I can below um, like I said before some things from Hobby Lobby and TJ Maxx and Home Goods they are very hard to uh, link because the website changes so often so here are some items that I do have. Just some black velvet ribbon. I wanted just some, um, I didn't want it to look Christmas at all. I wanted it to feel just more winter. I have some greenery and I have a garland and just some new, um, like a sled and some skis because they are winter activities. And then over here, I've had this for a while, if you can't tell, because it is chipped. I just have all of that. And then I went ahead and took my covers off, my Christmas pillow covers off, um, because I will be adding some more on there. And then I also have some fur cozy blankets, and then also a pillow cover that I found. If you watched my last video where I shopped at Hobby Lobby, you know that I got that there. And then I've just got some books that I like to keep out and read myself. So I'm gonna add those probably back in there. But that's all I have to work with and I'm actually really happy that it's not a lot. Christmas to me felt like a lot this year. There was just so much going on and it just, I don't know, it gets my heart rate up. <laughs> It just feels like a lot's going on in my mind at all times. So I'm ready for all of this to just look very clean and free up some space in my room and in my life and in my head. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's begin decorating. I'm gonna try not to talk near as much just because I don't wanna ruin the video with my voice. Um, I feel fine, it's just all the drainage and stuff. It's really annoying. So anyways, in this first top built-in, all I'm doing is just rearranging and then adding that wood uh, woodland tree I have. Um, I had it for Christmas, so I'm just moving it to a different area. Yeah, 
Okay, then I got this tobacco basket from Hobby Lobby. I've got some zip ties. And then I also have these granary picks from Hobby Lobby. And I got both of these items for a great deal. Um, they were having like a Christmas sale right after Christmas. And um, so it didn't cost much at all. And then I have a pair of those skis that you probably saw at the beginning of the video. And I just tried to get creative with this spot here. Um, decorating these built-ins is not that easy for me. I don't know why. I think I'm used to decorating like for, I had a lot of wall space in my old house and not a lot of shelf space. So I'm really having to learn how to get creative um, with tabletop decor. So all I'm gonna do is just try to put this greenery on this tobacco basket in a different way than you're used to seeing. Um, I know that I will probably still decorate with a wreath, which I know has been done before so many times, and I think it's a great look, but I just wanted something different for the winter. Now for the bottom left hand side, I have that planter there and then I have this galvanized bucket. I've had these for a while. I believe the bucket came from Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure where the planter came from. I actually believe some greenery came in it before. I don't know where it is now, but I did find these real birch logs um, here in a town called Etowah, Tennessee. Um, I had heard they have some really great thrift stores and kind of antique stores. So I went here recently and was very happy. I don't know what it is. I have really gotten into vintage and antique items lately. Um, I guess because each item seems to tell a story and so I was really excited to go into those shops and just look around so I went there and then I also have this greenery from Hobby Lobby that I'm just gonna add to this planter here and then the little Christmas church sign back there um, I call it Christmas because it was from the Christmas decor in Hobby Lobby many years ago but I still feel like it looks like winter and so I really wanted to add it there Okay, now we're on the top right hand side. I'm just adding some books that normally sit out there anyways. And then I found this beautiful apothecary, I don't know what you even call it, <laughs> little drawer thing. Um, and I'm gonna put it there on top. And of course, add some more winter picks into a basket here. Completely upside down. Now, I decided I wanted to use this lantern that I also used in my Christmas decor. Um, so I needed to unload all of the potpourri that I have. And it's very, it's a wintry mix. So I thought I can just add it here into this little tray on my coffee table. However, I realized that it really didn't fill it up the way I want to. So I either need to go and get more or maybe even add a candle into it. 
and for the middle built in here i have this face i just got it at hobby lobby and table decor was 40 percent off so i spent about 13 dollars on it I do think that's a little high just for a black vase when I probably could have thrifted one, but I knew I needed something like that for here and it was right there. So I grabbed it and I will use it more than once. I will use it throughout the year. So I went ahead and grabbed it, put some greenery in it. I'm also using my lantern here in this middle one and then also this snowflake decor. I think I got it from Hobby Lobby years and years ago, but I knew I needed some different heights. So I just added the book and just turned it around and sat it on top. And then I also got this little, um, it's like a ceramic pottery like house. And for the bottom part of this built-in, I need it to be very functional. I love, I love it when my decor is also functional because um, I do have an 18 month old who's still in diapers and um, I just leave her diapers here so it's easy to grab. So that's it for the decorating of the built-ins. Now I'm moving on to my mantle. Um, I struggled finding more winter decor right after Christmas and I didn't think I would. I thought I was going to be able to find a lot more on clearance and so I ended up getting this garland from Amazon. Um, it was like $28 I think and I will link it below. Um, it's okay. Um, it is more of like a real touch, but I just wanted it to look a little different, um, but it still looks okay. I was just really hoping to get one of the uh, popular ones from um, Walmart this year, and that's the first place I looked, but they were sold out by the end of Christmas. So next year, if you are wanting some winter decor, search before Christmas if you can, because it will make your life a lot easier. <laughs> so I'm just adding it onto these two boxwood garlands that I actually have kept out all year long. Um, I'm leaving them out because it makes it look fuller and more fluffy. And so I'm just zip tying it um, with actually twist tying it with these green twist ties I got from Hobby Lobby at Christmas time. And so it stays secure when I twist tie them, but then it's also making it look really full instead of just laying one garland. I actually have three on there. Also, today was a very sunny day and I was decorating for winter, so I wanted it to feel a little more like winter, um, which is crazy because I'm not a big winter fan, but I wanted it to feel that way. So if you are wanting your home to feel winter without it actually being that, go on YouTube and search for winter backgrounds or winter sceneries. I found that one on my TV, um, like it was one of the first ones recommended and it felt so peaceful and definitely added that winter touch because you could hear the snow falling and then the ducks on the lake. You start to get dressed and then we cry Cause we both know it's gonna hurt But not as much as this does We had a good run Don't say we didn't I was your first love And you were my first one so all the memories of venom and the remedies, yeah. Promise I won't forget. Yeah. Maybe it's something in the water, yeah. or maybe we just we hit the end, end of the road. Yeah. Right now it doesn't even matter. Yeah. It's too late not to let it go, and that's why I wish you the best. To see so these picks here gave me a fit. I ended up having to zip tie them and add in another piece of greenery just to make it look right. But the wire is so thick, it's not easily bendable or like cut. So I just worked with it and it ended up looking fine. Um, but then I also have a sled that I put there and I want to say I got that from Home Goods or TJ Maxx, one or the other. And then the little house, it does light up. It's like an LED. Um, light and I got it from Target around Christmas time. Okay, so I got this beautiful black 
throw blanket from TJ Maxx for $17. I love it. I knew I wanted more black in my house for winter. Um, however, I do recommend washing it before actually using it because it left back a lot of fuzz on my couch and on everybody who used it until I washed it. Okay, so I got this lumbar pillow and the pillowcase from Amazon and I will link it below. I love it. I love the pillowcase. It says let's cuddle. For some reason I was thinking I ordered the one that said um, let's get cozy or something like that. Um, so I do feel like this is a little more for a bedroom, um, but I think it'll work. Um, the insert is not as fluffy as I would like, but for the price it works well. So now on to my sofa. Um, I think Ridley woke up during this time too. So if you see me leave and come back, that's why. But I found this beautiful, I think it's like a snow leopard print um, throw. I also got it from TJ Maxx. It was a little more than the other one. I think it was at $25, but it is so soft and cozy. Blake has stolen it. I don't know how many times and taken it up to his room because he loves it so much. So I love having it there. And so I'm just adding it to the sofa along with some black velvet pillows. And then I also got a furry pillowcase from a thrift store. Guys, I could not believe that I found it. And that to me is what makes thrifting and antiquing so much fun is you just don't know what you're gonna find. Um, but when you find those pieces that you need, and you get them for a great deal. Like I got that pillowcase for $5. I was so happy and so thrilled to have found it. Okay, guys, I am so thrilled with how everything turned out in my living room. I am really happy with like everything. Like, I don't think there's one thing that's misplaced or needs to be put somewhere else. And that's the first time I think I've ever decorated and didn't have second thoughts about things. So uh, I'm very happy with how it came together, especially when there was a couple pieces missing that I was like, oh no, I knew I was gonna use something. Uh, why did I put that back in storage? But anyways, I'm gonna show you all just a little tour of everything, just one final look so that hopefully you all got some inspiration from it. I really do enjoy decorating my home and I plan on doing so, so much more this year. So without further ado, let me give you a tour. Okay, so on into my built-ins. There is my dad's shelf there. And maybe, now I'm saying second thoughts, maybe a little greenery. But really, when you when you get like all back, it doesn't look near as bare. It kind of puts, it brings it all together, but it's beautiful. I love it. I love how that all came together. And yes, you can see the zip ties really well in this, but from afar, you can't. <laughs> I really love that. It's so pretty. 
and then the bottom one here on this side I was really worried those weren't gonna fit in there but they did <laughs> Love that and then on to my mantle and that greenery up against the mantle the wood and the stain oh my gosh it feels so warm almost like a log cabin and then on down into here I did put the Bible back up here because I like it just being out and yes yeah, sorry Ridley is awake now she woke up from her little nap but I like how that just turned out. I used that. I, I think it's been here since we moved here. So it's just going to stay there. And then that. My plan was not to use that lantern. But it really worked well. I love the black and the white contrast here. And then the little bit of wood back there. And then up here. I debated on turning those books around. And I might do that later. But it really doesn't look bad at all. I am so happy with how my built-ins turned out and I can't wait to look at them over the next month or two. Okay, as far as my centerpiece for this table goes, I just added these little potpourri things that I had. I really need more. Um, or I may go back and get like a black candle to put in the center of it. Just add a little something extra to that. And then, hang on baby, hang on. I love see hang on baby and then here's this little side table <coughs> thought that turned out so cute hang on sweetie hang on I'm almost done and then there is my sofa. Looks all cozy and just inviting. Guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. And I'll see you for the next one. Bye, guys.